Homer has got to be my all-time biggest fan. He's been to so many shows that he's practically going on tour with me. It's nice to know I've developed a following since I've started doing stand-up, especially from someone who's that famous. Do you ever feel that um, Homer overshadows you when he comes to your shows? I mean, the guy is a, a living legend, so to speak. Um, so, when he's in your audience, with a whole bunch of people around him, does that ever bother you? Well, the nice thing about Homer is that he has no idea how much attention he actually draws to himself. So yeah, people are excited to see him at first. <laughs> but that kind of cools off after a little while. Yeah, yesterday a former school teacher asked me to sign her bosoms. Her, her, her bosoms? Yeah. What was that like? Squishy. Oh my god, what a blind as a bat brain dead has been. Do you want to know a secret? My last poem, The Idiot, was lifted completely from the Odyssey. I tricked that stupid Harry Gyro into signing away the story rights of the Odyssey. I, I just said, hey, I want your autograph. Oh my God, I even gave him a copy of the contract and he doesn't even know what it is. Idiot. I understand uh, William Shakespeare went to see your act once. You could say that. So they got you here in purgatory, carrying boulders around with your faces in the dirt and they tell you it's all for your own good? Jeez, and I thought only Democrats were that tortured and let on. Say thy dull edge words, illiterate loiterer! Bill? Thou art a fawning skate, mate! I spoke it to that fly-bitten bugger, and I gnawed on his soul as though I were a worm of conscience. He heckled me! Thou art an impertinent clay-brained scallion! A vicious maw upon the brow of decency. A venom milk lyric strumpet. Thou wouldst eat dead vomit up and house to find it. Feminist rebellion! Blow me. I don't know why he hates me so much. I mean, seriously. He's probably giving me a million reasons why. I just can't understand a word he says. Does uh, Shakespeare's behavior bother you then? What do you mean? Uh, does it make you question your move to stand up? Well, I don't want to say it does, but... He's only go right and serious work and not... Not him, uh, And the sooner he realizes oh, oh, that... Oh, ho, 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 it is I, the ghost of Christmas present. Come in and know me better. Shut your noise, you! Ghosts always bugging me now I'm dead. You know, Satan's always the best guy to do stand-up for. He's a tough critic, but he's got Judas Lodge so far down his throat he can't even heckle me. Boo. You know, as a comedian, it is pretty easy to roast a guy who's frozen up to his waist in ice. Matter of fact, it's the only roasting you can do down here. You suck. Of course I suck. This is hell. You think they'd really book Mark Twain for you people? Hey, 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 take it easy, pal. You don't want to get sent upstairs for wrath, do you? Oh. Oh, it's real, real mature. Are people ever surprised to see you in heaven? Yes, oh my stars, all the time. But I tell them, this is what I tell them. Don't worry, I may be up here, but I am still flaming. Sure, I do get a little tired of being blind sometimes. You know, back on Earth, I used to be blind, and it was a little tough sometimes, but... But now that I'm dead, it should be, uh, there should be a cure for it, because I'm dead now. I'm not even a human. Because I'm blind. Get out of my house! Out! Get out! 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 Well, I didn't quite pan out. Let's go to Shirley Jackson's house, or Sylvia Plath before she kills herself again, okay? I was wondering the other day, how many guys named Guido does it take to change a light bulb? But then I realized I'd never find out because there aren't enough light bulbs to go around. 
Anybody here not named Guido? Didn't think so. I cannot believe how many Guidos they crammed into the afterlife. This is insane. I mean, this place is going to go into complete overload once those Jersey Shore kids die. <laughs> figured out why I'm doing this comedy tour. I was on stage the other day and it hit me. All these famous writers, all of us I should say, we spent our entire lives writing the most depressing, resentful propaganda we could think of. And in the end, that's all we left behind. No wonder everybody who comes into the afterlife is all worried and bitter. It's all because of us. We taught them to think that way. And I did the worst thing of all. I told them exactly what they had to worry about. That's not why I wrote the Divine Comedy. I wanted it to have the opposite effect. But I went a little too far with the Inferno. The bad parts outweighed the good ones. I think that's why I'm doing this comedy tour now. I may not be great at it, but I gotta lighten the mood somehow. They turned along the left bank in a line. But before they started, all of them together had stuck their pointed tongues out as a sign to their captain that they wished permission to pass. And he hath made a trumpet of his ass. That, my friends, was a fart joke. I always knew he had it in him. So proud. And uh, what are your final thoughts on Dante? I doubt prayer a thousand prayers for his humiliation. Dante's comedy is so bad that it makes Shakespeare's comedy look good by comparison. He really needs to lie low for a while, stay out of the public eye. He's right on, man! He is so adorable, but that hat needs to go. <laughs> community is still adjusting to Dante's career change. Yeah, but me, that was the last time like, somebody plowed in between your legs, chick. <laughs> How me? What's shaking? Socrates, is that you? Oh, you know it, broski. Dude, what's up? Are you still drinking hemlock poison? Oh, come on, when did I stop here? Don't be a Persian, what? try stuff. Oh, that's not half bad. That's fucking right. <laughs> My eyes! I can see! Look at your face! My eyes! I must have fixed my eyes. Yeah, okay. Jupiter! Show me your moon! Copy of the autograph I gave to the Virgin? At long last, we found the answer to everyone's question. Dante Alighieri is not only looked upon as a great poet and writer, but also as a friend humanitarian, and most importantly, a stand-up comedian. Ah, you dirty ah, thief! Ah, you stole ah, my stuff! Ah, I'm going to put you in a box ah, of drawers and give you ah, to a cyclops. Ah, 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 ah. Not going to say anything. <laughs>